This video is about the iPod, iPhone or iPad is disabled message. I'll be talking about why it happens, how to resolve it, and how to keep things safe in the future. This message occurs if the device has the passcode entered in incorrectly too many times. You will either have a message saying try again in X hours or connect to iTunes. Either way, if you forgot the passcode or don't have the chance to enter it in, then listen on. There are three ways to get access to your device, with varying results. The first method you need to connect it to a computer that you've last synchronized with. If you have a home with two computers, for example, it must be the one that you last synchronized with, otherwise this method won't work. Uh, when you've plugged your device in, iTunes begins to sync and back up like normal. You'll also notice that the iPod or iPhone iPad screen now lets you try the passcode again. If you don't remember the passcode, then in iTunes, you'll need to restore the device. Now, the good news is you can back up the device first. It will let you back up even with a passcode set, provided that it's the machine that you've last synchronized with. Uh, you can check out my video on how to back up if you're unsure and don't want to risk anything. I'll, I'll leave a, a link in the video for that one. Uh, so once it's backed up, you can click on the restore button that should appear on the on the first screen that comes up and just follow the prompts through. You can choose the device backup to put back onto your device when that's all done, but the device will kind of restore itself and at the very end you'll have the option to discard the passcode or to pick a new one. For the second method, let's say you have a computer you've connected with before, but it was not the last computer you synced with. Uh, when you connect the device to the computer, you'll be told that the device is locked and that you need to enter the passcode before it can be used. Uh, this is because iTunes doesn't recognize the computer as the last computer it was synced with. What we want to do though is confirm that we have a backup file. If you go to Edit and then Preferences and then Devices, you'll be able to have a look and confirm whether a backup exists. If it does, then you can proceed to restore the device. Uh, at the very end, you get to select that backup when prompted and your device will restore itself and again you'll have the option to discard the passcode or pick a new one. Now the last option that we're going to go with is if you have no backups at all on the computer and the computer is not rec recognized as the last one that you've synced with. Uh, what we'll have to do is use a technique called recovery mode. Now to place a device into recovery mode, the first step is to hold the power button at the top until you have slide the power off appear so that you can turn the device off. The second step is then connecting it to iTunes. And once it's connected, to hold both the home button and power button down until the device turns on. When it has lit up, you will release the power button and you'll keep the home button held down until you see an iTunes logo appear on the screen. Once that's happened, you can let go of those buttons and you should see a message in iTunes then mentioning that the device has been detected in recovery mode. Once that's occurred, you can click OK to that, agree to that message and the next step is then to hit that restore button again and that'll go through the process of getting your device back up and running. Unfortunately though, with this method, the data on the device will be lost and there is no way to preserve it. I hope this video has helped out a bit. If you have any comments, questions or queries, please leave them in the comment box below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or like this video. It definitely helps me out and I'll be sure to make some more in the future.